Welcome to the Account Solutions. This channel is dedicated to bring you solutions to your everyday tasks in areas of bookkeeping, business administration, accounting and taxation. If you like what you're doing here, kindly click on the subscription button and support us. Enjoy the rest of this tutorial. Welcome back. So we've been looking at um, the bakery template to record uh, production, plus quantity produced, quantity sold, quantity received from other branches, quantity sold to other branches. This is the part 3 video tutorials for the demo. Now on our playlist we have three different Excel templates for bakery. Three different Excel templates for bakery. Like I said, we have um, three different templates. The first one is managing bakery finished product um, and sales with Excel template VBA. That one has four videos. You can check the link below this video for the playlist of those videos. Second template is bakery finished product Excel template for sales point in bracket real time inventory. That one is also um, a template we give to the sales persons to enter real time, you know, production control and all the sales made to customers. Then we have the final template which we are discussing now the bakery excel template for production and sales control plus weekly report this one has most of the reports you need this is for the account clerk or accountant to use to maintain you know production quantity sales um, um, all the bookkeeping has to do with uh, production of goods and the sale of goods plus all the various reports they are containing this product and there are three videos for this particular template and this is the third video for this template so you may want to check out the other videos and be sure the exact template you are working with um, in your organization so that you so that you know which of the videos you need to look at when you have any issue using the templates in your own branch so um this video i will just talk on all the reports that are on this account solution for the um, accountant or account secretary or clerk so we have the cottage analysis which shows all the product um, by by the rows on the first column you have the weeks of the month all you need to do is to change this month to change this month to September you have to um, also change this date to September once you do that it will update the weeks for you to September and give you the report for September so that's how you will check so what happens here will give you all the quantity um, of production for those particular products they will now have total quantity of bags produced then cottage per bag these are the standard cottage per bag and any difference will show here so let's go back to august then let's change this to august so the system shows you the total number of products produced in week 1, week 2, week 3, week 4, week 5. Then total quantity sum of weeks, you see them here. So if there are products in week 1, 2, 3, they add together, you give out the total sum. Then you compare with total quantity in the month. So why, why these ones are calculating from the week column? This is checking from the moon just to compare you know, if there are any differences. So this is correct. Then total number of bags produced in that month will come out here. This is the standard cottage for those bags. So if you multiply the standard cottage times bags, this is, this is what you should have produced. So we can see there are differences of um, um, this difference is shortage. That means we, we did not produce to the maximum standard that a bag of flour should produce for this particular product so come here to see average um, selling price then that profit or loss will appear. these are all populated by formulas so when you set up 
the database you can just type some comments here you know, explaining why you have this variance for standard quantity between um, actual and standard standard means you're supposed to produce this amount you know of products per bag but you whether you produce this so you have three items shots you know just like that for all of them you can see that you're making loss from this product so you just know um, this is a very good um, table to show you how your production is doing so let's go to the general reports we have um, the reports here we have total quantity of bags produced just refresh this place to refresh all the reports for you just click on refresh page okay so we have quantity of bags produced you can see the product then see um, all the days for that week you can filter by week and just check if you go further to your right you'd see total quantity of production so this is the quantity of items produced why the first one is just the bags produced bags of flour produced this is quantity of each um, product produced now we have total sales value for the week total sales value for the week so if there are daily sales you see up to seven columns here for that week we now have total value of sales and auction for the month total value of sales and auction for the month also on that table here customer performance for the month so the ranking customers wanted for performance by ranking you can see that um, henry is ranked number one for highest purchase in that month of august we now have customer weekly performance henry is still top so these are the reports we have in this report uh, template let's go to the chart chart is just um, one sheet you will see sales by product you have a list of all um, the legends here are the products you know why we have the amount we have sales by top 10 customers this um, pie chart here shows you sales by 10 top customers we now have sales and auction sales by products if you go down you will see sales and auction sales by products based on sales group distributors drivers agent those groups we do have grouped together you see how they're performing here we now have total bags by products so you know it's one that are producing more total bags by products so these are your charts that you have in this template finally look at the customer summary that's why it gives you the names of the customers in rows why the products in columns you can see all the product you can see that customer summary showing you what the customer did with the company within that period of time you can enable slicers to filter for only these products here are the customers for only these products or filter with the weeks and the months when you begin to post transactions so these are the reports we have what we've done here is to collapse most of the reports uh, in the old um, version um, that we're not really adding much value to your reporting so if we reduce that report into the concise report you have the cottage you have the customers uh, summary we have other reports talking about the um, production in bags production in quantity of product sales and auction sales these ones are the basic reports that you give management every week and finally i've explained before the um, week report template very easy to use just fill in the blue um, cells you know with information that are relevant to that um, cell okay type in the dates here and you will get all your reports and controls that you need to get all right i think this that will be all for this template as we keep updating the template we'll be making more videos we have um, the partners table and dashboard showing you everything here is automated you won't do any manual work here gives you a view of all the products and how the customers fare in the product um, just see a big a large table here containing all the customers that you have and all the products that they've purchased so far so that's all about this template you can just um, try it out you know i've explained the concise talk i've explained the um, view data i've explained um, your dashboard all you have in your dashboard just um, play around with the dates 
try to pull some transactions and make sure um, the system is working very well. All right, thank you. If you have any suggestions for updates, kindly send to our email. We'll be glad to discuss the update with you. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming by. Do subscribe and share this video if you like it. Cheers.